The final countdown has begun. Obama and Romney have only one issue to deal with and that's exactly what the undecided voter in America wants to know, the job market. Who can create those jobs and how will America get back on track? As the recovery process continues, which of the two candidates can convince the undecided voter who can tilt this election on either side? The important issues are really three. Number one, who between the two can create more jobs. Nobody really has the answer to that. Romney says 12 million jobs from the private sector and he promises to create that. Well, somebody who's dealt with free capitalism and free enterprise, perhaps he has some amount of expertise in that. However, can 12 million jobs really be created by the private sector in a market like this, in an economy like this? The answer to that is no. But the public sector is where one needs to look at and that's where Obama comes in. He talks about matching the number. But the question is, how exactly will they create these jobs? And that's where public spending is something that needs to be looked at. Obama has talked about improving the infrastructure, looking at public works, creating more government jobs. Well, good direction. But really speaking, economists and any analysts would tell you, you need a bit of public sector and a lot of private sector to go together to create these jobs. So it's about who and which voter sees the glass half full and which sees it half empty. How exactly can these two be brought together and whether Obama and Romney's advisors are looking at a plan that merges the two. Number three, the whole issue of outsourcing, very much talked about, but I think it needs to go away from IT-led jobs to manufacturing. Yes, we're putting out manufacturing into China, into India and such places. Is this going to make a comeback? Is there a need to change that in some ways and bring more high-value, high-skill jobs back in the United States? I think some of those questions, if answered by the two candidates, will probably allow a more sound decision by the voters. Today, it's no longer about just the economy, but also the emotions attached to it. And I think this election will probably see the undecided voter take a tad cognizance of that important fact.